make people around him miserable or feel sorry for him. He never wanted people to feel sorry for him. He was so happy that he lived the length of life, 96 years. Wow. And so for him, he was grateful every single day when he got up and went to the gym. <laughs> Can you believe at 95 years old, wow. he was in the gym? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that also taught me, you want to take care of yourself? Please, God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a very, very uh, loving man. Mm -hmm. He was always looking out for me waiting for my phone call every single day. Wow. My housekeeper, Ruth, who has been here with us 24 years, she said I was in the office at 1 o'clock, and that's my break for, for lunch. He would be waiting for the 1 o'clock call from me, or he would call me. Wow. And he would tell her, did she call already? <laughs> if he happened to have gone to the bathroom. <laughs> and that was every day. And wow. so you can imagine that love. And then he would say to me, I adore you. And I said, honey, adore is only for God, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> and he was just, he would smile and say, I adore you. <laughs> he was so happy. I mean, our match, as you had interviewed me before, yes. was a match made in heaven. There is no relation I know of, and people have told me, maybe President Reagan and Nancy Reagan, People, when Nancy passed away, mm -hmm. and they called me and said, do you know that I just was thinking of you because of the love that they had? Wow. And that is so beautiful mm -hmm. because there are very few relationships like that, especially nowadays. How beautiful. How did you meet Colonel Ramsey? Bring us back those beautiful <laughs> memories. I really love oh hearing that God. all the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> are together for this reception first my brother who was working at manila garden hotel had known him because he was fixing things in the hotel for his office and then he came down and we had a party to go to and that party was the one at the embassy and i didn't know he was going to be a guest there <laughs> and so we meet and he asks me for a dance mm -hmm. And I played with his neck, and he was easy. <laughs> he called me every single night <laughs> at 10 o'clock. Wow. Our love was sealed. I saw this man, impressive, handsome. And I didn't even know the whole background of the man. It uh -huh. didn't matter. I was just looking at him. <laughs> I'll say, fantastic man. And... He just fell in love. So it was really kismet for the two of us. Mm -hmm. Meeting that way, and the rest is history. Wow. And you were teaching at that brother. time, correct, Dr. Ramsey? You were still yes, teaching. I was teaching. Yes, I was teaching at international school. Mm -hmm. So when did you get married? Did you get married in the Philippines? We got married in the Philippines in Don Bosco. That was our Catholic wedding. And then we came to the United States for the civil wedding and uh, the, the uh, Catholic wedding and the civil wedding and the, for our friends here. And that was the next year. Mm -hmm. How were you able to balance your life being an educator, you know, a professor, and at the same time being so much involved in the activities of Colonel Ramsey? 